Today I'm going to show you a demo of Lean Law. We are a timekeeping and invoicing platform with deep integration with QuickBooks Online. I'm going to break the demo today into five sections. Uh, we'll talk about timekeeping, expense management, trust management, billing, and reporting. Um, I'm in a web browser. This is Chrome, and we're going to start with time entry. Now we're looking at the calendar page. Um, this is a visual representation of your day. It's not meant to displace your Outlook calendar. Rather, it's to see gaps where you've billed and not billed time. I'm going to jump back to the second, and you can see this day. Um, I billed 7.3 hours, and I didn't bill any time between you know 10.45 and 12.15. And, and the question is why? Um, on this page, you'll also see timers the ability to start and stop a timer. You can have multiple timers open. And these tasks, which is sort of the narrative of your time entry, they're fully customizable um, and can be used to facilitate a time entry. So I'm going to head back to the 28th. I'm going to pick a time, 11 o'clock, and this is our standard time entry form. I'll pick my client, Joe Jackson. We have something, a matter versus Allstate. I'll use that task, as I said, to drive the time entry. Now, this happens to be a fixed fee, so the time is inclusive of the fixed fee. Um, we bill in tenths or quarter hours, so this is a half hour. And in this instance, I'm going to say, no, this time was not part of the fixed fee. A bit of a hybrid and save that to the timesheet. Um, that's it. That time entry is ready to go and, and move forward. So, the client would never see the start and stop time. It is entirely for internal purposes. Now, a second way to time entry is this tool. It's called the Lean Law Tracker. It's a desktop application. It's installed on a Mac or a PC, and it's meant for those folks that don't want to work in a browser all day. Um, the idea here is that I have my matters, the matters that have been assigned to me, um, the day, the time entries I've done for a particular day, and timers. To do a time entry here, I simply use the plus button. I pick my day. I'm going to say this was yesterday. And I did an hour's worth of work for Jackie. And uh, we did some client meetings. And it started at 8.30 and it's billable. That's it. I don't need to do anything else for that to now be ready for a bill. Um, it will automatically upload to LeanLaw. Now, of course, this also replicates the timer function that we saw in the previous calendar tool. Um, I have three open timers. They will stay open until I close them. When I close them, that actually converts it into a time entry that is billable. Of course, I can adjust the time. I can have multiple timers open, but only one active at a given time. Um, moving back up to the cloud, to the Chrome-based web, I'm going to get to the time entries tool. Um, time entries is more of a list view. It's more conventional, like keyboard driven. It's also our bulk entry tool. Um, and it's very good for searching time. I can use these filters to look by date or by timekeeper or by client matter um, and across build and unbuild time. Um, to do an entry here, just click create entry. I'm going to grab this Heather Smith matter. It's a litigation. Use those tasks again. Um, this was a half hour of work. It was billable. I'll change the date and say that was the 26th and create that entry. Now, for the bulk entry timekeepers, it remembers the client, the matter, the date. Um, so doing the next time entry for that particular client is just a few clicks. Um, I can also print and export my time here. Those are useful if you have a judiciary summary or some other purpose for that. Um, the fourth way to enter time is our mobile app on the iOS, Apple platform, or the Android platform. I'm going to shift gears and talk about expenses. Um, there are two different ways to get expenses into LeanLaw. Um, and you'll notice that some expenses here that say LeanLaw were entered directly in LeanLaw, and others that have a green dot were actually entered in QuickBooks. So you can think about that bookkeeper, or you're looking at a bank feed, and the idea that you can tag things as they're coming into QuickBooks to a specific account, and those will automatically sync over to LeanLaw and be ready to be billed to the client. To enter an expense here, just add an expense, pick my client. I'm going to go back with Joe Jackson, do some copying here. Um, this is a template that I've created, and save that. Now, if I was doing it in QuickBooks, just to show you how that works, I click the plus. Let's just say we're producing a bill. We have a, a court fee here that I want to grab. Um, this is what Lean Law is looking at, that category, and that's defined in the setup. Um, I can say fee related to court filing. We'll say this is $125, and I'm going to pick the client, and I'll say that was Joe Jackson, and I'll save and close. When I head back to Lean Law, if I, when I refresh this page, you'll see that that Joe Jackson 
copying charge is right there and it has the green dot so that was automatically brought over from QuickBooks now if you don't know who the client is um, or you don't have a version of QuickBooks that um, supports tagging by client LeanLaw will bring those expenses over and say hey you need to assign them um, so don't worry if you don't have that version or you don't know who the client is you can absolutely assign those in QuickBooks and we also have similar filters here um, that allow you to um, sort expenses and search whether they're billed or not billed, whether they're in, um, coming from QuickBooks or uh, entered in LeanLaw. Um, let's move over to the billing workflow. Um, and I'm going to start with trust accounting. And the life cycle of a trust account typically starts with a deposit to trust. Now, all of the accounting happens in QuickBooks Online relative to trust accounting. And lien law's job is simply to fulfill the workflow so that you do it right, that you're compliant, and you can repeat it over and over. I'm going to pick a client that I'm going to deposit some trust in. We'll go back to Joe Jackson. Um, he gave us 2,500. Let's say he gave us that on the 26th. Mr. Jackson gave us the money. We always want to cite who the source was, and it was a check, number 124. Um, that's for historical purpose compliance that will end up in QuickBooks Online so that it's part of that deposit. It's useful as for legal services and I say record deposit. What that does immediately is handle the deposit in QuickBooks. Now you still need to move the money. We just did the accounting and staged it on your behalf and did it accurately. This is our trust page. You can see I'm supporting multiple trust accounts here, an IDO and a Utah account. Um, I see real-time balances in QuickBooks, the bank balance, the liability balance, and of course the ledger balances that I see here. Um, when I head down, I can see a list of all of my ledgers. Um, and if I drop into Joe, I can see that he's got $6,000 in trust. Now, if I want to look at those transactions here, I can actually see his two deposits. We did one on 7-5, and we did one on, on the today on 826. Those are actually the same transactions we're seeing in QuickBooks. So the idea is that your accounting folks can see data in QuickBooks. You can see it in Lean Law. Um, now, we're going to move on into the billing workflow and we'll come back and look at this in a minute. So in the billing workflow I'm going to head back to ready to bill. Um, this is this creates a draft invoice flow with the idea that I start with ready to bill and of course I pick my time filters. Um, I'm going to say this month and I'm going to first um, I could pick by responsible attorney and I can do batch based draft invoices for you for larger firms that have more volume or of course do individuals. I could put an invoice that has one invoice with multiple matters summarized by invoice or of course I could pick invoice based um, you know invoice one matter one invoice um, invoice presentation. So I'm going to just look for Joe here and I can see that I've got uh, you know $150 plus 150 expenses. I have $300. I'm just going to do a one-click draft invoice. Now that invoice is now locked. Lean Law assembled those elements, the time entries and the expenses, and it's moved it to the drafts. This is where you would ask your attorney to say, "Hey, can you please go look at it and approve it?" Now you could do it by paper uh, and print those in batch, or you can look at them electronically and the attorney has the ability to go in and make any edits they see they can change time entries as they see fit lean law is going to put the trust statement right into the memo field six thousand minus this three hundred dollars we get to fifty six hundred left in our trust now i have a feature set up to add an admin fee that's where the dollar fifty is coming from we're also going to show you real-time client balances, trust balances, and invoice totals on the draft invoice, helping you have context of what's happening financially with that client. If the invoice looks good, we approve it. That's just communicating to your billing clerk that, hey, that's approved. That person can now receive it and say, oh, that's ready to go. We're going to drop, submit that to QuickBooks. Now we can do that in batch or we can do that in single form. That releases it and now it becomes a live invoice in QuickBooks. It is now accounts receivable. And I can move over and see that live here as an invoice and actually see what it looks like. And if I needed to print it, I of course could print it. Um, it has a balance forward statement. The services are all broken out and there's that trust statement. The last piece of the trust puzzle is the ability to now pay it. So if I go back and look for Jackson again, 
we can see that we've got the $301 as an accounts receivable balance. And the last thing I want to do is record a payment on that. And that's somewhat of a complicated accounting transaction because it's two sides of it. We need to push the money out of the trust account um, and put that into undeposited funds or the operating account. And of course, we need to make a payment on the invoice. Lien Law simplifies that by just saying record a payment. We know the invoice that we're doing. That's memorialized into that check. So we know what that went to and we say record that payment. Um, and if I want to run a trust report, I can quickly see that activity. That's actually opening up some QuickBooks data, and it shows you that you know the the five the three transactions that we had. The idea that we had the thirty five hundred dollar in, twenty five hundred dollars in, and the three out. But most importantly, the trust balance is now accurate and clean. The last section, I'm going to move off of billing and move on to reports. Um, our reports are meant to augment the reports that you get in QuickBooks. And they're broken up into three, excuse me, four sections. And I'm going to highlight two or three that I think are useful. I'm going to start by saying, hey, what do you want to know about a particular client? So we'll go into that Joe Jackson client again. And I can see in an overview the total value of services over a given period. And I have filters for that, fixed fees and whatnot. I can see specific time entries that were entered to it. Um, any expenses that were charged and any fixed fees. Um, we can also see, and again, if you have multiple users, who contributed and where they're trending. So very quickly, I can get my hands around what's happening financially with this matter. I can also look at my practice. So think of yourself as either an accounting professional that needs to consult with a law firm or your own matters. And I can say for this month, show me my ready to bill report, which is really our work in progress or WIP report. On the left side here, you'll see all of the items that essentially are ready to be billed. They're sitting in the system as live entries, but we have not memorialized them into invoices. And this is very useful so that you can look at yourself and say, hey, I'm on the 28th of the month and I've got $4,700. Maybe that's a problem. Maybe that's a good number. Maybe that's a bad number. And of course, I can drill down into each client and see more detail. On the right side, though, we're mirroring that with real-time QuickBooks balances. So when we can see that, you know, Jackie still owes us $3,000, she did make that payment. Thank you for that 30 bucks on the 28th. But she's got this trust balance. So I might say to my billing clerk, hey, why are we not paying that $3,000 balance down? Um, so this gives you a snapshot of your practice. Um, this second one, the third report I want to show you is revenue by attorney. Um, this is the revenue compensation report. This takes data that's happening from Lean Law, binds it with QuickBooks payment data, and brings it back into one space so you can look at where your compensation is for your time trackers or your attorneys. It shows what's been for this month, and I have different filters, what's been billed, what's been collected, what that attorney's share is. I have some settings that say the firm get, gives some money for origination, and I have some settings on that says the firm takes a share. So that attorney's share is what they collected minus what they had to give up for origination and the firm share plus what they might have originated to get an adjusted share. So this is real-time financial reporting. And when we receive a payment on an invoice um, in QuickBooks, we first pay off the expenses and then we proportionally apply the rest of the payment to the timekeepers. If a timekeeper wants to drill down and see his or her time, they can see all of the details as to how those numbers were generated. Um, this report really goes a long ways to help not just make um, reporting and compensation management easier, but to make it more transparent. Um, we also have the ability to look at revenue by client, um, what you would expect, and I can see you know, what a specific client's doing, and of course drill down and see that same overview screen of how we got there. Um, so that is Lean Law. Um, and our spirit is that the lawyers work in a legal platform and the accounting folks work in an accounting tool. Thanks for watching.